Hey guys, Sprout here again with another Combat Master video. Now, since my last video, the developers have um, outlined what they're going to do to the game to change everything. And in this video, I'm going to go through everything they have promised is going to happen in this uh, like sort of broke down Q and A session. I'll show the the screens of it as I talk about it. And I also want to give you my thoughts on what I think is actually going to happen to the game moving forward and what I think the developers actually plan to do to it as opposed to what they've promised they're going to do to it. So without further ado guys, if you do us a massive favour, like the video, make sure you have subscribed and we'll get straight into it. So then guys, all this information can be found on the Combat Master Discord, although if you're not on it already, I would suggest you just stay away from it because it's full of kids and it's annoying. The entire global chat is basically just a massive mess at the moment. But this is on the info section and it's basically, you know, um, given with a rundown of a recent Q&A held in one of the voice chats with the teenager server admin and a couple of the moderators. I don't think any of the developers actually attended this, at least I couldn't see. I myself had better things to do, so I didn't actually sit in this voice chat. Um, so yeah, I just this is what they've put down. So they've now put down a frequently asked questions. Okay, When is the game updating? They have said early November. They haven't given a date. Some people are speculating literally in a couple of days. Some people are saying a couple of weeks. I uh, think they're giving themselves a chance to sort of do something about what's going on. Now, the next one, everyone's mind, is the game getting sued, right? We are working as fast as we can to rework all content that might get us in trouble. So basically, this update coming in November is either pre-planned or they're going to change the entire game in a couple of weeks. I mean, honest to God, I don't, I don't know anything about game development. I've now been a game developer, but to change everything that's a rip-off from Modern Warfare is going to take some doing. Not, you know, like, oh, it's going to be in early November, a couple of weeks, you know. You know what I mean. Right, so, what staff has to say about eSports talk video about Combat Master and the possible lawsuit regardless the UI change? All content that might get us into trouble will either be removed or reworked. Don't worry. Right, guys, this is the bit that I've spoke about in my last video, right? The skins, the bundles in the game, the paid bundles, are rip-offs of Modern Warfare. So if they remove the bundles, the bundles that people have paid money for, are they just going to refund everybody because they haven't specified this? Or are they just going to remove it and like, oh well, it's a legal issue, we had to remove them, it's not our fault, you chose to buy them. This, this is the point I've been making. This is when people should start worrying. This is why I keep saying to people in the chat, even on that own official Discord server, do not buy the bundles because you might lose your money. Why bundles are so overpriced? Okay, The pricing on the store might not be final. The team will confirm it all soon. Ch stay tuned, right? They're so high because they're trying to get as much money as possible before it all goes to shit. That's my personal opinion, of course. How will the anti-cheat system go? There's currently no server-side anti-cheat check in the game at the moment, as we haven't planned this many players. But an anti-cheat is already in the works. Right. They have promoted YouTubers, that promote them as a hugely worldwide popular game mobile, and they didn't expect this many players. Bullshit. Right? They did expect this many players. They haven't catered to this many players, because, in my opinion, they're not going to continue the game further than their suspected update date. If you think about it, the admins on the server, the moderators, and the random dev names that are on the list, right? Nobody knows who these guys are that can disappear off the radar very, very easily. Is the game online or not? The game is both online and offline. There is currently only 20 servers up and running, and when they are full, you are putting bot matches, right? They originally said there was 40 to 60, so now they've reduced the amount of player servers. Why have they done this? Why are they keeping it predominantly offline? These are questions that I find myself asking quite a lot. What 
the hell are they doing? You know what I mean? Part two. What kind of game hosting private slash games are you planning to implement? At the moment, a friend's invite feature has been worked on, but custom servers are already planned. Now that doesn't, I mean, that's a general thing. I can't really say anything about that. Will you add more maps? Yes, more maps will be available. I'll come to this bit later in the video, guys. Where is Battle Royale? No news on that at the moment, even though they've all said in the chat several times now they're not going to add Battle Royale. There's no way they're adding Battle Royale. It's a waste of time. So why even comment on it? Why even put the question up? How do you get the content creator role, right? <clears throat> Currently, you need some minimum requirements, which are 50k subs on YouTube or 15k followers on Twitch, plus 40 viewers at once. That is not what is in their content creator announcement. It actually says 15k YouTube followers. Originally, it was 1,000. And there's another way you can get it because there's actually a content creator on the server right now with less than 100 subscribers. If you post a fancy clip in that clip competition, they'll select you at random or something. This is why I'm seeing they're selecting the mass of YouTubers to get all this attention to sell their bundles before it's too late. Trust us, guys. This is exactly what's happening. Will the game release in China? It's a pretty tricky one to answer. The gamers would need to have its own version to be okay, blah, blah, blah. I don't think it's going to get that far to release in anywhere but where it is right now. Where do I send my ideas, suggestions, concepts, blah, blah, blah. The idea channel was full of ideas and concepts and they deleted it all and remade it. So either someone suggested something bizarre or they're just not taking any ideas into consideration because at the moment you can't actually type in the, in the idea channel unless you're a certain Discord level. So, you know, if you play this game, you've got loads of ideas, you, you, you can't actually suggest them unless you're very active on the Discord, which obviously buffs the, bumps the Discord up on search, you know, gets more attention. So, so then guys, basically what I think is going to happen now with Combat Master, okay? It's not going to happen in the next couple of days, but it will happen very soon. Now, Activision haven't took any sort of action yet, which they will. There's no doubt about it. They will take some sort of action if things don't change. What Combat Master is going to do, and I think they've planned this all along. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to flash a quick little recording I did of Play Store page, which is the Combat Master Alpha Bravo Inc., or whatever they're called, of that game, right? This game has got the same skins. It's got most of the same maps, it's got the same guns, it's got the same gun skins. The only difference is it died, right? It was peer to win, it got no recognition whatsoever, very bad reviews, and I actually installed it. I was going to put some gameplay footage in the background. As soon as you open it, it closes itself, so it's either being shut down or the servers are dead or what, I don't know. But I think what they're going to do is, right, if they don't get shut down before this state comes up, you know, like Activision have went, right, shut your friggin' game down, or I'm suing you, basically. They're going to change the entire Combat Master into this other game, right? But they've already got this 25,000 strong community around this game, and what they'll do is they'll promise that they're going to turn the other game into what people want. And then people are going to jump onto this game, go... Oh, he has me money for all your bundles, right? And your battle passes and stuff like that. And they'll get even more money and essentially get away with ripping off Modern Warfare all this time, right? That's my personal opinion, what's going to happen very soon. And mark my words, all these people on the Discord server saying, Sprout, yeah, absolutely nuts. It's a good game. It's better than COD Mobile and stuff. Is it shit better than COD Mobile? 3v3 against bots. And you, you, you've got like a 20 in a million chance getting against players. How is it better than friggin' Tetris? Be realistic, guys. Come on. But anyway, guys, this is my opinion. This is what I think is going to happen. If you agree with us, let us know in the comments. Join me Discord server. Come and come talk to us about it. I'll happily discuss this with you at any point, unless you're rude and I'll kick you off my server. But that's besides the point. Anyway, so... If you enjoyed the video guys, please leave us a thumbs up. Make sure you click subscribe and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Light of glass, it seems you're shattering, shattering.